morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back on this lovely Monday, the 17th of December. How's everybody doing? Good to see you, Mark. Good to see you, Donna. Look at everyone here. Benito, good to see you. Ken, Judy, Tom, good to see you. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. Hopefully everybody's getting ready for the big holidays. Christmas is right around the corner. It looks like it's hitting... Uh, I think we need a little uh, we need a little Santa uh, in the market or something. Give us a little rally or something. My God, we got destroyed on Friday. Holy cow! I don't know, where the hell did that come from? Oof. I mean, um, I still have those two swing trades that I still have on the BJ's and the CSQ. But I might, you know, listen. That twenty four thousand that's testing right now is a major, major, major support levels on the Dow. It breaks that. You know, we could we could go way down to twenty two. So, um, but usually you don't really get that much going on when it comes to right around this time of the year, unless people have to cash out at some money. They want to, you know, I mean, the economy's doing great, everything's doing fine, other than a couple of things, uh, issues we're having overseas that we're seeing with China and what's going on with the EU, with London, everything, uh, with England. But uh, but overall, everything looks pretty strong. Um, you know. Well, let's keep, we got to keep a close eye on it. Listen, that's the great thing about day trading. Day trading is always gives us the head start of what to do as a swing trade or an option trade. Those, you know, it's just uh, more short term looking at it. But there are a couple of stocks that are moving uh, this morning. Not a lot. And guess what? We went through this on Friday and we went through this on Thursday. I did say that, you know, we didn't have too much of a great pre market, uh, what was happening uh, regarding other than. News comes out in the middle of the day more often at this time of the year than what's been happening, what we're used to doing. But uh, pre-market has just been kind of a little uh, on the uh, uneasy part regarding these next two weeks. And I'm telling you guys, listen, I've been doing this for 25 years. I love what I do. I wouldn't steer you wrong. But the more, with experience and everything else, this is normal this time of the year. So don't uh, don't worry about it. You you see how we did, how great we did in September. October, November, and one of the other big things you need to focus on is go back to your journals. Look at them. Look at look at the notes. Go to YouTube. Go to a Facebook page, and you'll see some of the videos. And you'll see that um, you know those times were great, and then there's times that are slow, and that's uh, we have to look at it. But we'll find something. There are a couple of things that are moving. But before we do that, let me just go over uh, what we did trade it on Friday. Uh, first of all, AMD. That stock had a huge rally. That was probably our, one of our biggest winners. Went from 1960 all the way to 2070 in a matter of, I don't know, 30 minutes. Pretty much done right there. Twitter, TWTR was another one. Early big pop right there. That one went from 35 to 3660. Uh, a couple of good shorts like in the, the YRCW that you guys did. That was a phenomenal short. Um, I'm actually going to keep it on the watch list this morning. You might get a little bit of a dead cap bounce. But the YRCW, that was... Look at that, 440 all the way down to 320. Not it, it, Listen, and you know what's nice about this? It had great lower lows, had great Fausto flags, everything I'm looking at. It just, you know, just had to trade a lot of shares of it because uh, it was, you know, for some of us, it is kind of slow. <laughs> QD was another good short right there, right out of the gate. That one just dropped from 660 to 580. Another, you know, all days pays, you know. Like, you know, unfortunately, we, we're not getting – you know, other than this one that had a little bit of a rally, but it was in the middle of the day, and I really wasn't too crazy on that. You know, the stock got destroyed from 120, went down to 40. They got a little dead cat bounce on that. I'm still going to keep this one on the watch list too, the XPO, because um don't really have a big list. But listen, uh, we haven't been getting the two, three, four hundred percent movers over the course of the day, which is which is okay. You know, listen, can't be greedy, but you do get them time to time. Um, just not going to probably get it in this in the next week or so because of what's going on in the market. Now, what is actually moving this morning? You know, I started trading this morning early, and uh, I got out of this PTI. I thought it looked pretty strong at the open, the the PTI, and you could see how it went from like uh, five twenty all the way to six dollars. And um, you know, I made I made I made a little money on it, not completely sold on it. Great iceberg orders. Look over here on the right. Great on the matrix. But now it's starting to back off. I guess it was a good thing. I thought I thought I sold it too soon, but it uh, looks like some of you guys did the same thing. Not really completely sold on it, but it was the only thing that I found this morning. EVFM, if we just go down the list, 
This one looked really good this morning, and then all of a sudden she started crapping out a little bit. Look, she's starting to tank now from five twenty to four, or to four dollars. ABIL is another one to put on the watch list. Another one that was gapped up pretty nicely, and look, it's starting to back off again. So, this is your typical of uh, going into the Christmas holidays right here. You know, getting closer and closer. Listen, we're less than uh, eight days away, so. This is typical normal, but you know what? We saw what happened on Friday, so you had a crash. So listen, whatever goes up must come down, and the one thing we love about shorting, they always come down twice as fast. So, you know, not a lot on the, on, on the short list, I mean, and on, on the gainer list when I was going down the list, but, I mean, you can't short a 40-cent stock, and this is 20% the biggest loser on the, on the nat, uh, in the market. So it's not really much out there. So we'll see what happens when things open up when the market uh uh, opens up this morning see if there's anything new but uh, as of right now we're gonna have to just sit back and just uh watch and that's okay that's a good thing all right you don't want to throw a good money after bad money anything i'm missing guys that i did not call out i want to bring up this apple really quick uh just kind of show you, you know, what's happening Apple's got right now is at a major, major support level. Somebody emailed me uh, this uh, and, you know, some uh, this morning uh, over the weekend. I'm sorry. And um, I know some of us, you know, we've been we do some swing trading. I know some of you do some options trading and, you know, obviously stocks got great options on it. But uh, just give you just let you know my, from what we know as day traders looking at it right now. Uh, this is stock is almost like mimicking right now to the T of the Dow Jones. So if it breaks these support levels, it gets passed below this 160. The stock's going to have some big issues. All right. And obviously, yes, uh, Norman, uh, when it comes to ETFs, you know, like I said, the only time we're going to be trading, you know, ETFs is when we have the market big, vol great volatility like we've been having with these big swings of 300, 500 point swings. So um, those are only good times to trade. But remember, though, to be a to be a uh, an ETF trader here in the Cyber Trading University room, just you got to keep in mind, guys. You got to be a minimum minimum above a level two trader. If you're a beginner trader, level one, those stocks will shake you out, and those guys are good when it comes to that. You got to be really really careful when it comes to that. PCG just for Michael, really quick, looking at it, it's going down. You know, it, it, we thought. It's, you know, like I said, I put it on the watch list. I'll keep an eye on it. You know, stock took a big hit. It's not been doing too well from 50, came back a little bit. But as of right now, I don't know. It's not really doing that much. I probably would pass on it, Mike. I was going to put it on the, I don't know, maybe I'll reconsider. But I liked it, but I don't. Listen, let's see what happens when the market opens up. We'll find a whole new list of stocks. We got a couple of them here. But uh, this is typical when it comes around the, uh, the end of the year. All right? So um, just sit back and uh, just sit back and see something, say something. And by the way, if you're a new member here to CTU and you're starting your day on Monday, uh, for all you new traders, just make sure you talk to Education Advisor. Hopefully you watched your videos over the weekend, understand a little bit the lingo. Remember, though, this is not the Fausta show. It's, it's the Cyber Trade University team effort. So uh, let's team, let's show them how we do it. All right, guys? For everyone else. Oh, did I get my wife a present yet? No, I didn't get one. I'm still, I'm still waiting for emails. So if anyone has any good ideas, anything unique, you could email me at faustop at ctu corp. ctu, I even type. Cut my finger over the weekend. Just email me <laughs> if you had any good ideas, all right? I, and I do kind of wait till the last minute till December 24th, so. <laughs> $100 Sunday, Tim? I could do that, too. But uh, I could do that, too. I could get the, I could get the $100. Or maybe the $1,000. No, it's, 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 it's the $100 milkshake. You're talking about the $1,000 Sunday. That's a big difference. I don't know if I, I, don't know if I, could, I could spiel uh, $1,000 on a Sunday. I think that's a little... Uh, I, I, I got I, I to, gotta, I could do a lot with a thousand. I think I, the hundred dollars I'll do, hundred dollars I'll do. By the way, if you guys want to know what everyone's talking about, you can uh, look it up on our, uh, on our Twitter feed. I took a picture of it and everything else. All right, guys. 
All right, everybody. Listen, good luck today. I'll see you back at 2.30. And don't forget, uh, you got Traders Talk coming this week and everything else. All right? See something, say something. It's Traders. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.